Yeah. This is my brother. And this is my dad way over here. We're going to be going on a walk to the gas station. Or going to drive. Well, I don't care. Because we're going to go there and we're going to um, get a treat. But it's not going to be sugar. Never sugar. But no way does this will be sober, sad, about us. This will play with them in them. This will be super happy. Okay, that was kind of weird. We can't understand him because he still has his tongue tie. But I think we'll be good. Yeah. We're almost to the thing because it's kind of taking really long because we're working on the roads. Come on, let's go. Oh, my brother's saying, how can we get there? But we should go this way, Sawyer. And here we go. My dad and me are just me, me, dad, and Sawyer are going on here. And we're going to be being there to send us a bit. <laughs> Sawyer, say hi. Hi. He's in a good mood now because he was not happy about having sugar. Because Dad said no sugar. And it's kind of hard because he loves sugar in it. And he has a sugar tooth and I do too. to see if we got ice or if we got open water. Oh yeah, we got ice guys. We have ice. Looks like some pretty good ice. Looks like people were ice fishing over there. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, about two and a half inches, guys. So you typically don't want to go out on the ice unless you got about three inches. This is this is good ice though. It's dark. It's pretty thick. So I think I'll be okay. But I'm a little dude too. I only weigh about like 140 pounds, so I'm not really too worried. And it's only about four feet deep right here. So if I do go in, I'll be able to get out. Okay guys, so I think what I'm doing, since the ice is not that thick, well at least on this side, I haven't really checked anywhere else. I made two little holes. I don't have an auger. I'm not an ice fisherman, so I have my little hand axe. I made two little holes and I have my chair sitting up here on shore. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna drop my waxies down in. I have this little slip bobber that's just gonna sit right on top of the hole and I'm just gonna watch that and if it starts popping, I'm gonna go out and get it. So I'm kind of gonna still let it dead stick there. I might even kind of 
bring my larger pole because I don't have ice fishing poles either. Again, you got to ice fishing for me. So I might be able to kind of sit back here and just jig it a little bit. So that's my plan. Let's see if it works. I'm going to go ahead and get a waxy on this little teardrop ice fishing lure and see what happens, guys. So I got my ghetto ice fishing rig set up. I got two poles out right now. I got the shorter one with the bobber on top of the water and the hole right there. I got the jig probably about a foot and a half down with the waxy on it. This one, I actually got a slip bobber. So that one's probably sitting near the bottom and the bobber is able to move up and down the line. So either way on these, I'll be able to tell because that bobber should start popping. Now I'm not really doing any jigging. I'm kind of just letting it dead sit. I'm gonna see if that works. If it does it, I might pick one up and kind of pop it around and do a little jigging with it. So, and I'm probably gonna try a couple different areas out here on this pond today. But what I'm really interested in, I suck at ice fishing. I don't have any gear. I don't have, I don't know, I don't even have the knowledge for ice fishing. So I would really like to learn that. So if any of you guys watching do any ice fishing, hit me up, let me know in the comments below. I would love to come out, uh, meet some subscribers and do a little ice fishing with you. Maybe someone that knows what they're doing because I don't obviously. So hit me up in the comments below, let me know. I'll come out, I'll travel Denver, mountains, wherever. But if you're out in Northeast Colorado, that would be awesome because that's where I live. So hit me up in the comments below. Let me know if you guys do some ice fishing. I would like to come learn and join you guys. Well guys, we're about 10, 15 minutes in. I've yet to get a bite. All right, I'm gonna leave those for a little bit. I'm gonna go chop some new holes over here, maybe transfer over here for a little bit. I don't have the ice fish finders, so I just gotta keep constantly moving around and digging holes. Whew, it looks a lot shallower over here though. Woo, yeah. made a switch I was over on that side came over to this side and it looks even sketchier over here there's like open water right here so I don't want to walk out too far I walked out maybe like six seven feet oh there we go oh there we go there we go oh no that was a bass guys that was a good bass Shit. Dang! So I switched it up. I came over to this side, switched it up, threw this guy on. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I know it's a little ice fishing jig though. Threw this on with like four waxies on it. Dropped it down, literally like within 10 seconds, had a nice bass on. He came up to the hole 
I saw him shaking. I thought I was stuck on grass, so I kind of set the hook a little bit, and then all of a sudden he just took off. Dang, that was my first ice fish, guys, and I missed him. I forgot the waxies in the car. Let's see if he'll bite again. That was sick. Yeah, guys, that was that was definitely a bass. I saw him instantly. When he came up to the hole, I just saw a big flash of green. That was my first bass I've ever hooked through the ice. And of course I missed them. So that's all I did guys. I just dropped that down there just like that with some waxies on it. And he hit it, I mean, pretty dang quick. Let's try again. Oh, I had another one. Took my waxies. As you can tell, guys, it's pretty difficult without a uh, like ice fishing fish finder. That's something I might have to invest in if I'm going to be coming out here doing a little bit more ice fishing. If I can come out here and hook some bass through the ice, I mean, I'll definitely come out here and do a little bit more ice fishing. kind of beating this spot up pretty good guys i've been like five six holes been jigging around i had like two or three bites so i kind of stayed around this area for a little bit but i think i'm gonna move over again and try one more spot before i take off today this wind's getting pretty bad so if you guys can even hear me yeah i don't think i'm gonna try this area out I took one snap and it broke. It's thick out there, but the whole shore over here is super thin. It's much thicker on this side. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make that happen. All right, well, we just got off the water. I'm heading back to the house now. That was actually a lot of fun. I like going ice fishing when it's not like freezing cold and it's like 45, 50 degrees almost right now, mid-December. Um, I've gone, I've tried going ice fishing at that pond before and I've never had any luck, never had any bites. Uh, of course, I don't have the right gear. I don't really know what I'm doing ice fishing, but I've watched a lot of ice fishing videos and I kind of know the basics of it. So tried it again today. I actually hooked my first bass. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, kind of makes me want to get out here and do it again guys. So again, if you guys do any ice fishing out here in Colorado Hit me up comment down below Like and subscribe to the page. Let's hook up. Let's do some ice fishing I want to learn more and I want to catch some big fish through the ice. So let me know Thank you guys for watching by the way guys if you liked this ice fishing video Please let me know and I will do a couple more of them throughout the winter Again, I don't fish a whole lot through the winter because it's my time to hang out with my family and focus on work, but I do like doing it. So if you guys liked it as well, let me know and I'll do a couple more.